Hi. In this recording, we are given a group Kelly table. I'm going to show you find the order of each element inside this group, referring to part C of the question, and also to find the factor group or quotient group G modular second group generated by 4 and find out what is this group isomorphic to. To do this, let's look at some reference first. What does it mean by the order of an uh, element? According to John's text, a first course abstract algebra, section 6, page 59, if the second group generated by A of G is finite, then the order of A, in this case, is the size of the second group generated by A. That means that if the second group generated by A, let's say it's A, A squared, A cubed, all the way until A minus, A minus 1, and then the last element is supposed to be E, which is A power N, then the order of A is N. This is the smallest positive integer, N such that A power N is equal to E. So, if you understand this, when you can find the order of each element, From the solution of the earlier part, we know that the second group generated by 1 is 1, consists of 1 only. Therefore, the order of 1 is equal to 1. And from the earlier part, the second group generated by 2 consists of 2, 5, 6, 1. Therefore, the size of the second group generated by 2 is 4. And so we know that the order of 2 is equal to 4, since there are 4 elements there. And this is the same as the order of 6. The group generated by 6 is the same as the second group generated by 2. So both of them are order 4. Now let's look at the second group generated by 3. It consists of 4 elements, 3, 5, 7, and 1. Therefore, the order of 3 equal to 4. Since the inverse of 3 is 7, so the second group generated by 7 is the same as the second group generated by 3. So order of 7 is also equal to 4. Now let's look at the second group generated by 4 consists of 4, 5, 8, 1. There are 4 elements there. So the order of 4 is equal to 4. Now this second group is the same as the second group generated by 8. So order of 8 is also 4. And finally, the second group generated by 5 consists of two elements, 1 and 5. So order of 5 is equal to 2. Since there are two elements inside there, this will conclude all the order of each element in this group 3. Of 3 with each 3 now. So I make a table. 3 can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and find the order of G. 1 is 1, 2 is 4, 3 is 4, 5, 4 is 4, 5 is 2, 6 is 4, 7 is 4, 8 is 4. And this is how you find the order of each element. Next, we are going to find the quotient group now, according to the John text there, section 14, page 138, if H is a normal subgroup of G, then the cosine of H form a group 
g over h now under the binary operation a times h multiply by b of h equal to a b times h now now this is actually following theorem 14.4 it shows that if the left and right coset of h coincides that means a h equal to h a then a h times b h is a b h is well defined binary operation on coset the meaning of well defined binary operations means that if a1h equals a2h and b1h equals b2h then I can actually multiply a1h and b1h I should get the same result as a2h by b2h it means if the coset is represented by different elements the multiplication will still equal so for example find out the coset of the sub segregate subgroup generated by 4. I have found out that this is 4, 5, 8, 1. So this is one coset. Now, what is the other coset? I want to find another coset since all the coset are destroyed. So let's try another coset. For example, 6, H, 6, 4 here. Since 6 is not inside there. So I can take 6 times 4 from the 6 times 4 is 3. So I have 3 there. Then 6 times 5, 6 times 5 is 2. Then 6 times 8, 6 times 8 is 7. Then 6 times 1, 6 times 1 is 6. There are only two coset now. The other coset you'll find is just repetition of these two since I have exhausted all the elements of G. In this case, G factor group G over 4 subgroup generated by 4 consists of subgroup generated by 4 and coset 6 4 right now what is this group isomorphic to according to page 44 section 4 of John text there there was essentially only one group of two elements in the sense that if the elements are denoted by E and A with identity element E. Then the table will look like the one we have we have shown below. And this is the same as Z2 under addition module 2. So that's the end of the recording.